Hello, good afternoon. My name is Dan. I'm standing here on Windbreak, right in the heart of Brocklehurst, right in front of the Brock Middle School. And uh, we're going to find out about an event, special event that's taking place here at 975 Windbreak, which is the uh, Kamloops Free Methodist Church. And we're going to find out a little bit more about it by speaking to one of the organizers. And here to tell us more about this special event taking place this weekend is Pastor Shelley. Hi, windy day in Kamloops, but glad to be here and tell you about an event we're doing on Saturday. It relates to the tragic accident last Sunday in Kamloops. Uh, the three of us on bird fell out of the sky and tragic loss of life for Captain Jen Casey and the injuries to Richard, uh, Captain Richard McDougall. Uh, and so it's also a tragedy in our community. Uh, it, it's just like two blocks away from here and uh, this is a community that was also hit hard by the work this fire last fall. Uh, but it's a strong community and our, so our event is called Standing Together because that's what we're doing. Kamloops is standing together with the snow, snowbird community and we want to stand together too. So uh, it'll be a candlelight vigil on Saturday at 8.30 p.m. to 9.15 p.m. and uh, we can uh, gather 50 people in our uh, fenced-in parking lot and all those uh, social distancing protocols apply. We'll talk about that in a minute. But it's an opportunity for us to express our grief together in a sense, standing apart but standing together and also just to speak the words of compassion and peace that we know. Awesome. So they can get all that uh, on your website, all the information, camfm.ca. Yes, that's right. And of course that happens to be where the uh, vigil will be live streamed for those that either aren't comfortable uh, gathering or if uh, our, our uh, event gets full and there's just no space here on the property. Yes, that's right. All right, so let's go down uh, to the compound and you can uh, show us where this is all going to take place. All right, great. Okay, so let's talk about the logistics. So the, uh, that's your, your front entrance. Uh, that, is that going to be open for vehicle traffic? No, it won't be. We'll just close down this lane on Saturday night to vehicle traffic. We'll have a couple of people at the entrance down there and they'll be directing people right through to this gate here where they can walk in and uh, this is where we can gather with 50 people uh, in attendance. So there's a bit of parking beyond us. Uh, Dan, you'll show us that in a minute in the Brock side of the lot. So um, we just encourage people to walk if you can. This is for Brock residents. We can't accommodate you know, others as much as we would like to, but you can look at it on the live stream. So Brock community residents walk if possible. If not, there is some parking. And uh, yeah, then we'll um, we'll have our our musicians and our speakers, whoever's uh, taking part, kind of in this corner of the lot. And people, you can see there's quite a bit of space. You can bring your lawn chairs uh, and space with your family. We need to have spacing. Uh, or if you want to bring a blanket and or, and sit on the ground or stand that's you know standing together and uh, uh, we it's a candlelight vigil but we are not able to hand out candles because of the risk of transmission so um, you have to bring your own candle and something to light it with hopefully it won't be as windy as it is today and uh, the your dollar store with more at the Brock Shopping Center is donating candles. You can just go there and get some candles. Uh, they'll be free and, and bring them with you to the event. And uh, at the end, you know, it'll be beautiful uh, lights. And it, and it just symbolizes the, the hope that we have going forward. That's awesome. So this is where it's all going to take place, folks. There's going to be uh, locally musicians, local speakers. And uh, we even have a, a, a dance team that's going to come and perform uh, a tribute to Captain Casey. Right on. So last words, Pastor Shelley. Yeah, just really looking forward to Saturday evening, to being together with the residents of Brock in a, you know, living.
limited way, but also live streaming. So, hopefully.